bright and early Monday morning, and so another week begins. Toys behind me in the trees. Always there to wake me up in the morning. And a cat wanting to get into the house who's not going to succeed because she's in a bit of trouble at the moment. I've been working with the theory over the last few months that heading in at um, 6 o'clock in the morning or thereabout would be a good idea because I'll get ahead of all the traffic and not have to sit in the queue for an hour and that sort of thing. Unfortunately it seems that everybody else recently has had the same idea about leaving early in the morning and not sitting in the queue, which unfortunately is a little bit counterproductive and ends up with me sitting in the queue and waiting in traffic for over an hour, um, which I've been doing again this morning already. So it looks like I'm going to have to uh, try coming in a little bit earlier than 6 o'clock um, just to make that work. It does mean that I'll be able to get some uh, sunrise shots from in the city I guess before we start work. That would be nice. So I'm back at work again. It's a bit like some vloggers get to the airport every morning. Well, that's so it seems. Others of us just get to our day job. And then it turns into a big black void between now and suddenly going up for coffee. And then skips to another coffee. Actually, I will be going out to coffee in a moment. Hey there, it's about halfway through the day and I uh, decided I needed to head out and get some lunch and um, while I was walking I thought, hey, here's something I can do is uh, show you guys a lot of the really interesting street art in Wellington. Like this fellow here. There's just a whole heap of these things around the place. And um, yeah, I just thought I'd wander around and show you some of them. I'll add some captions um, that tell you exactly what they all are later on because um, there's not much in the way of naming for them or anything like that or any information about them on the streams. But if you go and have a look at the, um, po if you go and play Pokemon Go, um, you'll find that that's actually got all the information and history about the individual bits of artwork. Here's another one. Strange little thing. Don't know where it comes from or what it's about, but there it is. I'll go look at Pokemon Go later and put some captions up for you. I've got to say, I uh, do note a big distinction between street art and um, just raw graffiti and defacing. 
but on saying that sometimes you've just got to respect the guys for actually getting out there and um, being able to just get up there and do that one how the hell do you get up that wall so just uh, walking around a bit more here and over behind me there is um, Te Papa that's New Zealand's National Museum and um, I know it doesn't look like much from outside but we'll go inside in the next week or so and have a bit of a look around there's a couple of exhibitions in there at the moment um, the other half of the Great War one that I went to last month or the month before it's probably the month before now um, I need to take Wayne in there and have a look around and make a vlog of that as well I don't actually get to walk around Wellington much um, it's more often just that quick shot between coffee and work and lunch and work during the day and today is just a, a tad quieter so I've been able to get out and have a bit of a wander around um, and there's so many buildings have changed since the earthquakes in the last year or so it's quite weird <laughs> Yeah, here's another piece of graffiti, um, which is in a, a rather interesting spot. Once again, I don't know about giving the guys respect who did it, but you've certainly got to give them some credit for effort. Actually, that one there's most likely there because um, this huge empty spot behind me, which is just a, uh, an open car park now, used to be a um, six level car park building but they got badly damaged in the Wellington earthquake a few years ago so it's not there anymore they took it down and uh, just about lost the uh, picture theatres which is that building up behind me there excuse me pointing with my sushi and still around Wellington you can find uh, an ever decreasing number of these little old buildings here they are really old buildings that have been around. There you go, it's nearly 100 years old and 1924 stamped on it and it's managed to survive the onslaught of all the big office towers and stuff around it. Just this little lone building sitting there in the middle. Nothing wrong with it. there's always some street art that's um, quite a lot more subtle than other bits and um, just sort of blends nicely into the background. Yeah, I've got to kind of look twice to even notice it's there sometimes. Anyway, that's about 45 minutes that I've been out, so I better head back, do some more work. They'll start looking for me soon otherwise. See this one here I must walk past every second day or so. This is what I do. I've been on this before. Yeah you have. This is what I do in that gap between getting to work and going home again. And just like magic I'm on my way home again. A casual observer might consider that I seem to be doing the same thing every day. Sort of going to work and uh, coming home and have a fairly um, consistent repetitive life and that's probably because that's exactly what I do have for the most part but that's okay the vlogging will get me out there and doing some more interesting things and at least I get to look at this on the way home get home and something arrives for me oh look something just arrived for me it's all good because then I get to play with knives to open it up and have a look and see what it is well, inside this package is something I really neat it's another package which is good because then I get to play with knives more and open that up and inside that's a whole pile of little boxes containing more things I got no idea what this is because I can't remember what the hell I've ordered plenty of bubble wrap in here so that should keep most people around here happy for about 10 minutes 
Okay. This is um, a whole pile of these that I've ordered, um, which is a torn up box. And inside it is a rather useful iPhone holder. So rather than having heaps of uh, random cables all around the place um, that we can't use very easily, I just got these little sink cradles that we can put all around the house for phones and uh, not have cables get broken anymore. You go, Emmy is one for you. And here you go, Flick is two for you. And an iPad. That's um, Flick's hand. Okay, and now I'll go and put other things on the rest of them. Now I was just going to set the camera up and get a time lapse of the clouds, except oh, that's it. The rest of the sky is completely cloud free. There's nothing else there except that. That's it. It's the only cloud. And it's going away. <laughs> <laughs>